Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're doing Daredevil. We're doing Season 3, Episode 5 called The Perfect Game. So to start off with, Poindexter is super organized, like, to the point of, like, overdrive OCD. And then we have a taxi is found, but there's no one in it. So they find it empty. So Fisk sees the footage, and then the lawyer talks to the agents and wants more privileges. So he wants more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so um, then he gets false information on Matt Murdock in exchange for the privileges. And then we have um, Poindexter is stalking this girl. Then we have the FBI at Matt's apartment. And then Karen talks to Felix. And basically she tried to act all like hard and like I know what's all your business. And then he gives then basically he has all the dirt on her and her family and the addresses and all that stuff. And then she is being tailed by the FBI. And then we go back to Matt's apartment where they question her and then she decides to switch it up on uh, Nadir and about all that type of information. And then we cut to her physics with the lawyer and he wants to know more about Dex. And then we cut to where the dad gives him a new mitt. So basically they're going over his file about everything. <laughs> so we go back into his backstory. Where this uh, dad gives him a new mitt and then the dad benches him so other kids can play. And oh wait. Uh, this was the coach who was like a father figure to him. My bad. Uh, and so he's doing it because his parents died. And basically um, what he did was he was like throwing this ball. Like so it zapped. And the same as that spot it was breaking the brick. Which was crazy. And then he off the coach in like in a freak accident. And then he talks to a therapist and said it wasn't an accident. Then we cut to years later where the lady is sick and it's their last lesson. And he tries to off her to punish her for dying. And she's not afraid and basically tries to help him get through his all this stuff. And then we go back to uh, then years later he's working on a hotline where he's crushing on the girl that he's currently stalking now. But wanted him, um, but went him to, uh, so he was working on the hotline, but having a crush on the girl, but when he was on the phone with this guy, he wanted him to off his stepdad, and then he stops when she came by. <laughs> I'm just like, this guy is sick. Then we cut to where Fisk wants De Dex as a new villain. And then we cut to where Dex runs into the girl slash Julie. Her name is Julie. And they catch up in an hour because she's working at the penthouse hotel, whatever, that Fisk is staying at. Then we cut to where Hanson visits, uh, of Hassan visits at Nelson's deli and questions him and tells, and so Foggy basically tells him to leave. And then we cut to where, um, we're doing the catch up with Julie with Dex and basically um, reverse it <laughs> and basically he overshared a little too much and she's super smart and like flew right through right past that where he know she knows that he's been stalking her and so she bails and then he made a scene and then we have Karen talks to Foggy, and then she admits to offing Seth's original, uh, Fisk's original assistant. Then Dex goes cray at his apartment and punches the wall, then goes super crazy and kind of, um, messes up his entire apartment. And then we cut to where he listens to the old tapes to calm down. Then Matt is back at the apartment and passes out, and then here's the FBI, but when they showed up, he escaped. And that was in the episode. Uh, a crazy episode. Super, super, super crazy. I gave it a B plus. I just thought it was just some type of bizarre. But I do like the backstory 
with Dex and why he is what he is right now. I thought that was really interesting and I thought it was a good character development for him. And um, just the whole thing, like they're trying to, like Dex wouldn't really be in the situation. I mean, he'll still be in the situation, but I think it would take longer for him to get there if the FBI wasn't uh, being so damn shady with him, like using him as like um, a scapegoat for what happened. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the episode. I just thought they were kind of fast tracking it so much, and the fact that Fisk got in his head and is doing all this stuff is just some type of crazy to me. Oh, good, I did the next episode. And um, so that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please give a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, just tell me your own thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because I also help the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.